you doing remote session work? Um, you know, I've never recorded at home before. I've never had oh, a wow. studio. But um, some friends of mine called me, uh, this friend of mine, Gussie Miller, and, and he called me up and he said, look, um, my friends of mine uh, are, are doing a, co- a cover of Easy Lover. And he, would you like to play on it? And I said, well, look, I, you know, I, when I do all my videos, I'm doing on, on an iPhone. I, I can't record with it. And uh, he had a friend at uh, SSL, and they sent me over an interface. Great. And, uh, so I ended up just pulling up GarageBand and, and, and called Steve Postel and, from the immediate family. And, and Steve walked me through you know, how, to, how to do it. And I ended up putting bass and filming it while I put it on for the... Uh, for this uh, Easy Lover cover. And then I stuck it up on my YouTube channel and it's had like 170,000 views now. <laughs> so I, I just had like Ian Pace just contacted me from Deep Purple about doing a couple of tracks. And um, amazing, so I'm, amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some, I'm not gonna get totally into it at this point, I don't think, just because I got, there's so many things sort of going on right now that I don't want to spread myself so thin that that I'm not really dedicating the time to the things that for me still are important. But um, but I've got about four things where people have wanted me to put bass on it, and I'm I'm waiting for files at this point. They're going to finish them up before they send me for for my parts, and I'll see how it goes. If I get really comfortable with it, I might open the floodgates a little bit. But, you know, when I look at everybody else's setups, I, I mean, the pandemic's been so weird because like if, if somebody wanted me to do something, I would just call like, like John Gilliton or some, one of my friends and I'd just go over to the house at, because they have great home studios and we would just put the bass parts on there and, uh, and then go eat. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, so I've never really kind of felt the, the, the drive to do anything. And I'm not really not a writer. Uh, I've always loved being a part of projects and helping with on-site arranging and stuff while we're c- tracking. But I've just c- kind of, when I'm home, I, 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 the idea of actually working at home never kind of appealed to me. I'd rather be doing yard work and playing with my dogs and stuff because there, <laughs> there was enough work going on um, that when I was home, I wanted to be away from it. And suddenly now there is none of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it all. but. Um, you know, at this point, I think the most the most critical thing is just people staying alive and healthy. 